it's all part of amplifying the patient voice, yeah. isn't it? And, and listening to the patient and getting the feedback to make things better. Hi, I'm Duncan Short, Director of Global Implementation Science at Vive Healthcare, and this is the latest edition of Science on the Sofa. And today we're focusing on PROs, or Patient Reported Outcome Measures, and how they can be used to improve the quality of life of people living with HIV. I'm joined on the sofa by Brent and Graham. Welcome. I want to start with some context, and I'd like to ask you about how or why improving quality of life is so relevant given the advances in medicines over the past uh, two, three decades. Well, certainly as medicines advance, um, our clinical health has advanced, our physical health has advanced. Quality of life was something we wanted to have, we aspired to get to, but it just felt like we had to get on top of all of those rather urgent, critical needs first. Now when we're in a space to be really living long term with HIV, um, it's a real opportunity to actually pursue and, and see through all of those broader goals we've been fighting for, for, yeah, for so long. And with that, comes a lot of people who may feel that their current uh, experience of living with HIV is as good as it gets. And we really need to challenge that, that all people living with HIV deserve a strong and good quality of life. Graham, do you want to give us a background about what PROs are and how they can play a role? The way I see them is a, a short, uh, short number of very carefully selected questions that make sense to the patient. They're a really effective way of getting past that conversation of how's everything going fine um, which is probably the most dominant conversation that happens. Um, and actually asking some simple questions beforehand that the patient can fill in before the clinic appointment. It's incredible how uh, more honest and reflective patients can be when filling in a survey that those results then go straight to the clinician who gets a sense of what's happening. And now we'll show you a quick animation about how PROs can be used in routine care to improve quality of life. With today's treatments, people living with HIV can expect to achieve and maintain undetectable status. But there is much more to consider today to provide the best treatment and care. We want people to see more than just HIV. Even patients who are undetectable may experience quality of life challenges. These could be mental health problems, challenges taking daily medicine, stigma or substance use. These are often not visible to the doctor during an appointment. Understanding these issues may help the doctor and patient make joint decisions that can improve quality of life. Patient Reported Outcome Measures, or PROs, can help us get there. PROs are information reported by patients about their needs, experiences and preferences. It's a way to easily share what they're going through on their own terms. With PROs, the doctor has better insight into what their patient needs and wants, and they can more easily discuss issues they might never have talked about and work together to find new ways to improve quality of life. So in terms of quality of life, I guess that interaction with the healthcare professionals is a really key one. Um, so it sounds really easy, you know, but tell me about some of the problems we have in terms of addressing quality of life in a, a traditional routine care appointment. Well, I think in a routine care appointment, the first things you want to get through are, you know, how's it going with your medications? What are some of the physical things that are happening to you? Um, and I think that that's great. I think we, we need to focus on that. But we can't forget that people have spiritual lives, emotional lives, and these lives aren't often presenting as an inflammation, yep. um, but they are important in someone's quality of life in what's going on for them. And I think that there's a power dynamic in a clinical space. You know, when I'm sitting with a clinician and they ask me a question, uh, there's a, almost kind of like an implicit pressure to answer, right? Whereas if I'm filling out a prom, a, in advance of me going to my appointment, you fill it out, you're thinking about it, and the, if there are those, as you say, probing questions how about, you know, so what's been your experience in terms of feeling connected over the past period of time? Yeah. You know, you're going you're gonna to think about that while I'm sitting on the train going, hmm, how is that? Whereas if you ask me that in the clinic session, probably the answer I'm going to give you is fine. Graham, do you want to tell us a little bit about your research findings in terms of yeah. what, what the benefits are? Yeah. Thanks. I mean, look, you know, 
clinics there, it, it's a very busy environment. But what we've actually found a couple of things is PROs can actually mate, make really critical conversations um, more targeted and quicker. It also, um, what we have found is most clinicians feel that they, they know their patients who are absolutely struggling. Um, but what's more difficult to pick up is patients who are heading towards a bad situation or who aren't, you know, they present very well, the clinical re results all look good, but life is not going well. And being able to tap into patients that are not doing well before it starts impacting on treatment and health and so forth um, has been really critical. The other part is it opens up the potential for clinicians to have stronger relationships with the other sorts of support services, so peer-based programs, welfare programs, um, just a whole range of different things that um, can really help someone with HIV realise the kinds of services that, that can be available um, and the opportunities to increase their quality of life in ways that they may not have thought about before. It's all part of amplifying the patient voice, yeah. isn't it, and, and listening to the patient and getting the feedback to make things better. What are the final messages that you'd like to, to give people about PROs and how they can improve quality of life? As a patient advocate, um, understand and appreciate the dynamic in the, in the clinical setting and that your voice is important. It's not always easy to say what needs to be said and PROs can help you say those things that are tough. So instead of saying fine, I'm fine, you can actually invite a deeper probing question about it. I suppose one of the things I'd, I'd add to that is really understanding that quality of life isn't, it's not a luxury, it's quite central to healthcare. PROs need to be on the same bar as the clinical tests, the blood tests and so forth. Yes. Thank you very much for, uh, for the time today and uh, that's the end of the Science on the Sofa session. Thank you. Thank you.